Hey guys, it's layout update time. Oh, wait a minute. What, what, what do you mean layout update? Where's the ops video? I know, I know. Sorry guys. I know I said I was going to have an ops video out last Friday, but you know, I got busy, started doing other things. I actually took uh, Friday off and went to the beach with the dog and you know, life kind of stuff. So, um, I'll do a little bit of ops here today, but we're going to kind of combine this into a little layout update and yeah, a little mini ops thing right here. Promise ops videos will be back shortly. Anyway, let's uh, start over here at the Anaheim Hills uh, Saddle Club. Got a couple new trees right here. These are actually uh, Woodland Scenics El Cheapo Pine Tree things. Uh, I ordered them, they were like six bucks or something. Uh, I kind of ordered them on a whim uh, along with some other stuff and they were so absolutely horrible looking. <laughs> Luckily, they're kind of made out of wire mesh, um, so I managed to kind of fold them up and then put a bunch of static grass on them and make them into uh, Italian cypress trees, which we have here in Southern California. Anyway, um, we got a little truck over here, got some hay bales, things like that, stuff for the equestrian center. Uh, and the biggest news, wow, look at that. Ooh, that must have hurt. Ooh. Um, so, while I was not doing an ops video, I started working on the runaround over here in uh, Cerritos slash La Mirada slash Anaheim, whatever the heck this place is. Um, and as you can see, uh, what I did was I pulled the uh, fascia off and put a couple of boards over there. Those are like one by fours. There's like two of them down there. Um, and then just kind of angled the uh, facade around it to make room for this additional runaround right over here. And we're gonna do a little mini op session. We're gonna run a truck, uh, or a tra truck, a train down into here with a couple cars. And we're gonna switch out Shasta Beverage because that is really uh, customer number one for this runaround here. Um, I think it's working out pretty good. It's still gotta, you know, gotta do all the finishing touches here. Um, I do have it all wired up and everything. So, you know, get the, uh, get the power leads all connected up to it. And I did use the largest, <laughs> I guess, length of runaround that I could possibly fit over here without going all the way into uh, Titan facility. But, you know, I mean, what's a runaround if you can't get the locomotive down the other end? So, had to have a little bit of a, like, sort of lead into and uh, out of the runaround. So, what I thought I'd do, I'm going to do uh, this little locomotive here. We've got... Uh, Oh, a couple locomotives and a train. We're going to switch out these two boxcars right there and just uh, show you how it works. So, uh, let's see. First, got to get disconnected here. And this is going to be a little bit of a different sort of ops video here because I'm going to record it real time. So, let's say our train went down to Huntington Beach, did a whole bunch of other stuff, and then started heading back this way. and is now going to switch out these two uh, boxcars into Shasta Beverage. Now we got two boxcars there already. I'm going to get over here. Uh, turnouts are already flipped right here for our little demonstration. And again, this is a I guess it would be called a trailing spur uh, now that we are, are coming back this way. All right, train turned around, brakes off, let's back her up. Let me step on the gas there, let's go. All right, we're gonna run it down into while I'm doing this uh, ops video, we're going to run through the wooded area. I'll try to give you a couple of different little views here that you don't normally see on the regular ops videos. So, train would run down here into the kind of main line right here. Now we can do a couple things here. We can stop here 
Uh, disconnect, run around, grab our cars. Or we can grab our cars and run around, you know, and then drop them off. I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna disconnect the cars right here. And again, this is only like the second or third time I'm running this, so bear with me. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is drop the cars off right here. Uh, right, because we're switching these two out with those two right there. So, if I can get in here while I'm holding a camera with no tripod and a very dull uh, stick right there. All right, then we're gonna change over that control or controller switch. All right, we'll head down the other way. Wrong way. <laughs> it's getting a little hot in the garage here. It's Sunday afternoon and it's a little toasty. And so I'm kind of losing it a little bit here. And I think everything is set the way it's supposed to be right there. So we would run down into the right of way here, which currently just has that one car uh, sitting as an off spot, but actually There's a uh, plenty of room here for two locomotives and Actually two boxcars, which you will see here in a second. All right So normally we just flip that one and now we're gonna take the run around the track is pretty close right here um, that's actually why I put a little bit more wood over here it was actually really close right over here and, and like I said I still got to fill this in with a little bit more wood and uh, get everything settled in right there that's why I wanted to run a couple of trains through here just to see how things would look and you can see I got about half an inch right there Ooh, hold on all right, so we gotta flip this one. To head across the street. Grab our two pickups. And then we're gonna pull them back through the runaround again. I uh, can't tell if I got a good connection. Yes, I did. All right. And still got to kind of level up the track, the uh, you know connection points here uh, when I start doing the ballasting and everything but it's uh, good enough for trial runs right now. Um, so this is one of the reasons I was thinking about doing a shorter one. I was thinking of just literally uh, keeping just enough track or just enough run around to fit like the locomotive so that at least maybe the locomotives could run around. But um, I think this length right here will fit basically two boxcars and maybe three and the two locomotives right all right and obviously the end here from uh, where you know we turn out uh, like I said see maybe we got two cars two locomotives uh, if we didn't have the off spot car right there you could probably fit a third locomotive or car all right so we'll flip this back and now we're just gonna shove back into our uh, two drop-offs all the way across the street. Get the gas there, let's go. All 
All right, I think I'm connected up there. Just gotta flip the turn out over here. Shaking this about too much. Eh, right about that one will do right there. All right. I'll grab my uh, skewer here. And yeah, building frack, you're always taking in stuff with these things, so I gotta sharpen this guy up again. He's pretty dull. Come on. There we go. All right. All right, and then uh, off we go. We've got our two pickups. And that, I think, is uh, at least one of the ways that the runaround will work. At least servicing Shasta Beverage. And of course, we'll turn that so that the train can head back up to the main line. stop it right there anyway guys uh, sorry for the no ops uh, video on Friday but hopefully this makes up for a little bit and uh, we're gonna have some more interesting operations running over here with the new runaround here just gotta like I said touch it up a little bit and, uh, and then keep on going with all the other scenicing over here think I've done anything else no <laughs> that's all I've done because I've been screwing around with those trees and uh, doing a run around here so guys go ahead and hit the like button if you like that hit the down button if you didn't and uh, if you're new and you like it and you want to see more hit the subscribe button hit the bell button to get notified you know the drill already all right guys till next time take care bye <laughs>